Hello guys, I'm Rose Road, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make flame effects in Adobe Photoshop. So without wasting my time, let's get started. We will start by adding an empty layer to our wretched over here. So click here to add an empty layer. Select your pen to zoom in, I think something like this, okay. And then let's click here once. We want to draw the shape of our frame. Let's click here once. Push your mouse cursor up. Somewhere here is okay. Let's click and hold and then drag to the right side to create a curve on the left side for us. Once you are done, push your mouse cursor up again. Let's click and hold and then this time drag it to the left side to create a curve shape on the right side for us. Now go to filter, render and select flame. Over here, let's change the flame type. We'll change it to one flame along path. Then leave everything as default and click on OK. Nice. And then let's delete the part that we created. So press the delete key on the keyboard to delete it. Now Press Ctrl T and resize the frame. So let's place it. Then something like this is okay. Nice. Add the layer max to the flames layer. Select the brush to and then make sure that the foreground color is set to black. Now use your your right bracket key to increase the size of the brush. And then use your left bracket key to reduce the size of the brush. Now let's clean it up. Okay. Mm. Something like this. Okay. Nice. So I'll be going with something like this. Now we are left with just the last step. So select your background layer. Add an empty layer over here. Go back and select the eyedropper tool over here. Zoom in and then let's let this side to pick a color from here. Once you pick the color, select the brush to use your right bracket key. Use the right bracket key to increase the size of the brush. I think something like this is okay. And then let's click once. Nice. Now go to filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. So let's set the blur to let's say 78 and then click on OK. Once you are done, let's reduce the opacity. So let's reduce it to let's select 40. Let's go with 40 and click on OK. Nice. So here is the before. So here's the before and then here's the after. So before and then after. Okay, so guys, this is how you can create a flame effect in Adobe Photoshop. If you like this video and then you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Also like, comment, and share with others.